Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Laura Gessa. So today we also we, it's another series of relationship advice. Uh, as usual, I'm using some notes that I used that I that I noted down to ensure that we covered everything broadly. So the next another there's a question here: Is getting back with your ex a good idea? Personally, to me, it's not a good idea because. But I think before I I I like shut it down i think it depends with the, the terms in which you guys broke up because you have some people that maybe you just stopped talking like mulinya maziana then you just stopped talking then after some few years or months then you come back okay what happened to us then maybe both of you have just been single the entire period you think that that one you can get back together but if you're in a toxic relationship if you're out there someone is abusing you if you're out there someone has cheated on you First of all, me cheating, cheating, cheating. I I will never come back to you. Cheating, I will run away because once a cheater, I always say once a cheater, always a cheater. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we are talking about hot topics. So for me, I will not advise any of my friends to go back to their ex. Once I, an ex, always an ex. Like whatever we did together happened, and let's leave it there. Let's let's cherish the moments. If there are moments that we can't cherish, let's block the moments and move on. I like exploring. Just get to know new people. Get to know a new person because there's a reason you left that person. And if that if if you go back it's like you you it's like you're contradicting yourself once you decided to leave leave and go you'll get a good person you'll get another better person than your ex another person told me my boyfriend of two years said he wants to get married to me but till now no proposal since two years ago hmm girl shoot your shot <laughs> This this we have girls that shoot their shots. So because I know I know some people who just date for fun, some people who date for marriage, some people who don't date at all. So I don't think it. I don't think it's good to waste someone's time. If you don't, you're not dating for marriage. I think most of these things. What where we fail, the moment we start dating, we should be clear with ourselves. We should be telling ourselves like, yeah, I me, mean, I'm dating you. I'm dating you to get married to you. I'm I'm just dating for dating. Whatever it will take us well and good. If you are clear with your intention the, during the first stages of your relationship, then if I'm there and I, I, I date for marriage, then you are not you are not the kind of person that dates for marriage. Then I'm sure I'll look for someone but someone else that dates for marriage. If I'm there that I date for enjoyment and you date for marriage, we can we can switch. Let me go look for someone for enjoyment and you look for someone for marriage. But if you but if you still love that girl, chick, if you're listening to me right now, if you still love that guy. Shoot your shot. You never know. Maybe he's, he's waiting for a sign and you're not giving him a sign because, you know, life, sometimes you can, you can propose and someone uh, lets you down. So maybe he's looking for a sign and not showing him a sign. Maybe shoot your shot. If he's not ready, he'll tell you he's not ready. Then maybe you can chat. You can chat and and and, and plan your things. You can say, ah, let's wait till this and this and this. So shoot your shot. What I'll advise you is shoot your shot because maybe maybe he's not, he's not uh, ready for it because... We have people that really, really think like for for me before I make that step of getting married to someone out there, I'll make sure I'm financially stable, emotionally stable, physically ready because hey, marriage comes with a lot of emotions. Marriage comes with a lot of responsibility. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go into a marriage and become a burden to my future husband. I want to go up to marriage and become a partner, partner in that we will partner and make sure we build a good family the next question is how to make a relationship last i think mm, one clear communication be clear with your communication be open two trust because a relationship can never last without trust ensure you trust each other and trust is and so if you've wronged your, your partner somewhere or someplace somewhere, remember to always say sorry, remember to always apologize, trust is earned. So may think it's communication and trust and just loving each other and keeping the vibe going, you know. Like if if I if I married you because if I go if I got into a relationship with you because you know what, chick your hoods, your dressing card. Keep the fire burning because some most of us girls, especially girls, immediately we're into a relationship, we stop wearing the way we used to wear we stop like you know going out we stop like no just be you just be new house because some someone loved you for you don't change if it's fashion 
be even more less so my friends be more fashionable wear them wear them clothes be hot but and for men if 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 you you, you if during our our um, talking stage you used to take me out and blah 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 do it be, do more just do more on what you used to do but don't like go down just be you but communication and trust helps a relationship last is it okay for girls to go after guys? Yeah, in our current, but me, I mean, I'm so shy. I don't think like I can go after a guy. But in our current generation, girls are shooting their shots. Like, okay, I think one day we'll feature a guy inside the, inside these vlogs so that he can tell us what guys think about girls shooting, shooting, ah, shooting about girls shooting their shots. Because ah, in the current generation, girls shoot their shots. So going after a guy, I don't feel bad. If you love him, go for it. Because maybe it can be your destiny and you just don't explore it. If you love a guy, go for it. Don't let anything derail you from going from the guy of your dreams. What the worst that can happen is him saying no. And him saying no gives you a chance to explore more and wait for another sign from someone else. Other than just staying there and dating someone in your mind. Then at the end of it, well, maybe he's engaged. Maybe he's not into a relationship. Maybe, maybe he has a girlfriend shoot your shot the worst that can happen always tell my friend the worst that can happen both boys and girls is someone saying no and if someone says no kindly move on don't stay there don't hang on something that might never happen something that might never bear fruits yeah that that one was the last for this video until next time guys bye